welcome to episode 4 of Dank Dungeons. On either NCTV or YouTube, you can watch it both places. What's your choice? This is a show where we play Dungeon World. It's a pen and paper role-playing game, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but way goofier and way simpler. Uh, we're in the midst of a grand adventure to a realm of dinosaurs and mystery and goblins and stuff like that. Um, the players, these lovely three right here, are trying to find magical amulets, which they hope will allow them to defeat some great evil or something, but mostly they're just looking for the artifact of a uh, long-forgotten god, or I guess not forgotten, but no longer very worshipped god, and hopes that they can save the world from an impending apocalypse. How are you guys doing? You feeling good about saving the world from an impending apocalypse? <laughs> Um, feeling good about like your your group and your group right now. I just want to sacrifice some ghouls. Everybody feeling feel, good. Feel a little torn, but I, uh, <laughs> feeling good I about think, the, I think it's gonna work. Feeling out. good about the yeah. goblin you murdered horribly last sacrifice. Game. Sacrifice. I don't feel good about it's, that. Sacrifice is murder. It's murder with like a, per, a specific purpose. <laughs> I don't know. You're looking cool with those glasses. I think today. it's like squares. Oh, I was gonna wait till somebody mentioned them and then take them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Well, I, I guess the time's for. here. Uh, so we have uh, Batania the Wizard, we have Todd the Ranger and his faithful wolf EP, who I guess is kind of played by me. Um, he's great. He's great. He's <laughs> terrific. Um, and Dula Wulafula, who's like a lizard man fire guy or something. I don't know. Fire guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he burns people. It's fun. Um, and they are joined by um, a mysterious goat. His name's power. Goat. His name's Goat, his name I goat. guess. That's what we settled on, because nobody could come up with a better one. It just kind of makes sense. Yeah, he's, he's a goat. A, he's a goat. Call it like, calls him like he sees them, right? Go. Um, where last we left off, um, the lot of you were in a swamp following the goat's um, supernatural sense, which is leading you to the remaining two medallions you do not have. You have a shark medallion. Um, apparently these medallions are very important. Um, and the goat took you to the swamp and you fought off uh, some vicious saber-toothed frogs um, at, just at the same time as you found an entrance to an underwater temple of some sort. Um, which you believe might hold the medallion. What would y'all like to do? Go swimming. Go swimming again? Yeah, I think we're going to go, no. go deep swamp diving. Deep mm -hmm. swamp diving? Yes, yep. actually we are deep swamp diving. So what's your plan? What's your plan here? Cast light. Let's Yeah, cast light and get down to it. All right. We go. Bring in, we can bring in you goat? come? Are you going to come, goat? I cannot swim. So you'll wait here. Indeed I shall. I shall wait for an eternity if need be. What do you say? If you're just tuning in now, not coming. Four, this is how the goat talks. He's not coming. <laughs> He's not coming. Will he wait for us? He'll wait an eternity. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The way eternity? you say it, the way you say it, makes it sound like a power ballad <laughs> or something. <laughs> the goat's not coming. Will, it, will he? Will, will he wait for us? He'll wait an eternity. <laughs> 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 it sounds so romantic oh, the way you put it. That's that's how I meant it. All right, great. Ah. <laughs> what about your wolf? Wolf's coming. EP is my friend. You can swim. You can dog it. paddle. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen him swim before. All right. So, uh, you're casting light. Do you have any contingency plan? What are you casting light? In on? case my staff. In case this, uh, in case you get pretty deep down there into some tunnels and uh, don't have air. Something to think about. Because you don't really get through the doorway, so you don't really have yeah. a good gauge of whether or not oh, this exactly. comes into an air pocket at some point. We're gonna hope we get lucky and oh. don't die. Oh, and I'm um, just checking. Nobody leveled up after last game, right? No, no we don't. Nobody hit no. that point. Okay. No. Anybody close? I have four. Mm -hmm. You have four? I think I'm also at four. All right. I'm at I think three. I only have two. Okay. Well, so we're still a little five. ways off from your, your next level five. Yeah. Technically. Just wanted to kind of ballpark it. Yeah. But anyway, back to the situation at hand. <laughs> Dive in the water. You're diving in the water. I'm diving in the water. You're in the water. You're I, doing it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I transform into a shark. Yeah, you, uh, you can't do that. I channel the cha energy of my medallion. Okay, you channel the energy of your medallion. You think you, you think you channel the energy of your medallion. You're pretty sure you did it. All right. <laughs> You're probably a shark. All but right. you can't be certain. And you are in the water. Obviously, my shark. Also probably a shark medallion. Isn't. Huh? He probably also isn't. He probably isn't. Yeah. No, I think, I think I'm pretty, like, I'm really sure I am. So, 
You guys can stop playing me now. It's I funny. mean, whatever. It's a good joke. All right. Whatever the situation is. Yeah. We're swimming. It's probably a shark. Yeah, I'm probably we're, a shark. We're swimming. So, Batania also and Todd, are you following uh, this guy who is not a shark? <laughs> yeah. I am a shark. I saw the entrance, too. He's not making it up, so. Yeah. Let's go. I should have got people in. I mean, he's not a great guy, but let's just do it. I, yeah, no, I'm. we're going to go. Yeah, we're swimming. Yeah. All right, fine. I got okay. the light. You have light. Have the light. All right, you're casting light through the murky water, and uh, you enter the doorway. Mm-hmm. And go through some dark, dark tunnels. Um, you get pretty far in. And you don't see an ex- exit yet, so I'm gonna have everybody make a Constitution roll to mm-hmm. defy danger, oh boy. to hold your breath and not start drowning. This is an important one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got an eight. You got an eight. I got a nine. Uh, oh, you dropped it. I got a seven. Seven? Yeah. You plus, all plus. succeeded. <laughs> no one is drowning yet. Yay! No. Are you going to roll for your wolf? <laughs> oh, I should probably roll. Oh, no. Do you want me to roll? If, yeah, roll for the wolf. Ah, uh, you're EP. Just use your man. own constitution bonus. Oh, He's got to breathe, too. I know. Wolf's got to breathe. We shared. That's okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, nine. He's good? All right. Yeah. Yeah, your wolf's holding his breath. Um, you keep on swimming. Keep on keeping on. And the tunnel opens up into a large sunken chamber. Um, it appears as though you can surface up above. Um, however, the majority of the chamber is full of water. Oh, boy. Um, so you have a spot to get air, but there are just big pillars in here, more of those bass reliefs of like dinosaur people doing stuff on the walls mm-hmm. that you saw in the ziggurat earlier. Uh-huh. Um, showing very similar things. Uh-huh. Um, and in the center of the room is a pedestal mm-hmm. kind of set up out of the floor with stairs leading up to it. It looks very grand. It looks like there were windows at some point that would ha- let, allow the light to shine down onto this pedestal very dramatically. Uh-huh. And uh, there is half of a rotted skeleton the lower half, like the pelvis and legs, Ooh. kind of flopped next to the pedestal, and the pedestal has a few chunks taken out of it. Um, there's nothing sitting atop it. Uh-huh. It definitely looks like there should be. Sounds like one of my shark brethren got to it. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah shark. Think so. Um, are you all going to yeah. the surface and yeah. get some yes. air? Yes. Yeah, yeah, probably, it's probably a good plan. Yeah. No, um, I'm, g- I'm good. <laughs> so, now what? So it's just a little pocket. Yeah, much, your yeah. little pocket um, around up the ceiling. It's got like a vaulted ceiling, yeah, yeah. so there's a little part where the water hasn't reached. Cool. Where I you guess. Get what do you guys? Uh, whoa, what do we do? I'm gonna dive and check out the pedestal. And the I thought, water yeah, I thought here, you said I'm gonna die if, and I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna die if I don't. The water down here is very murky. You can't. You cannot see, and it's also just dark. You cannot see beyond the range of the light spell, yeah. which is like about. But we 20, could see all this feet. stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm assuming you like kind of looked around yeah. before you surfaced, yeah. and cool. that's mm-hmm. the gist of it. But yeah. the room is very large. So what's the idea? It stretches out in every direction. Mm-hmm. Do we want to look at those reliefs and see if there's any new information? No. I do. <laughs> and you have the light. Yeah. Fine. We're going to start <laughs> with knowledge. Knowledge? Yeah. We're going to learn something today. Um, cool. You see many of the same mm-hmm. images, um, but in particular, behind the pedestal, is a relief of a gigantic terrestrial creature of some kind Mm -hmm. grasping at trees as people worship it. That sounds familiar. Perhaps. It has big hooked claw hands. Definitely sounds very intimidating. Like Mm -hmm. a bass relief to me. Yeah. Very cool. Do you guys remember the three creatures that the medallions were supposed to be? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the sloth. I just didn't remember the the goat told us. The Megatherium. That's right. I wrote everything down. Because if the goat told us, we didn't understand uh, it. The Ground Sloth. The Ground Sloth. The Megatherium. Yeah, the Ground Sloth. Yeah. Because I went on Wikipedia and looked up the names of uh, various prehistoric creatures. Nice. <laughs> Great. Before, <laughs> before running this game. Great. Thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Please sponsor us. Wikipedia, please sponsor us. Wikipedia, please sponsor us. Barely sponsor no, Wikipedia asks other people. Yeah, I was going to say. sponsor anyone. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um... um so yes, um, so presumably the medallion that was once present in here, although the goat seems to still think is present in here, mm-hmm. was that of the ground sloth. Mm-hmm. We guys want to swim down? Let's we can do to the that. pedestal. I can detect magic on the pedestal oh, and see that's if a it's there. Idea. 
Go for the it. Pedal you, how does it detect magic? Do you have to detect magic it's on an a, item, or is it like a? Pedal it's kind spell? of just a general thing. Yeah, and you yeah. tell me like what it is that's. Excuse me. Magic. Nice. Yeah, that's <clears throat> a ten. A ten. Yeah. Oh, the pedestal two. is not magic. Mm-hmm. However, moving about in the darkness of the room beyond your light, you detect a pinpoint of powerful magic. Oh, hey, it's moving. Awesome. Let's Ooh. follow that. Hey, there's head magic over in, in that here. direction. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna take out my short sword and have it. Can I have? Can I activate my weapon underwater? No. No. I didn't think so. It's you fire. have a fire weapon, yeah. and you have most no, of your so yeah. fire-related powers will probably not work underwater. Great. <laughs> Putting you in a precarious situation. Great. If this is a thing you have to fight, mm-hmm. I recommend us just. Where is it moving around? Or where, where is it's it? It's going all around? around the room. It's trying. It seems like it's sort of staying out of the light. Yeah, it's hiding, but I can sense it, so we're gonna. Because she can find sense it. the magic that's radiating from part of it, at least. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's look at. How it. is it moving around? <laughs> like what, it's probably swimming. Yeah, I know, but like it's moving like a fish. Kind of like wood, like a big fish. It's like <sighs> a big fish. Kind of big sweeping motions. It might be a shark and stuff. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if it were a shark? Wouldn't it be cool? Yeah. Wouldn't it be ironic if... Uh, Don't you think? <laughs> what? If you got eaten by a shark? Sharks get eaten by sharks. Like, that's I was absolutely not true. That's the uh, <laughs> Sharks definition. get eaten by sharks like literally all the time. I don't think so. As a shark, I would know about this. <laughs> Dula, if you want, I can make you invisible. How many species of sharks lay eggs, Mr. Shark? What percentage of the species of sharks in the world lay eggs and what percent give live birth? Do you know the answer to that question, Mr. Shark? Thank Mr. You. Know-it-all shark guy? All of them. That's my question for your character this session. <laughs> Maybe only you get a question this time. Or none. <laughs> um, so when it comes to sharks, um, I know a certain percentage of them lay eggs, a certain yeah. percentage of them. This is a nature show now, know. everyone. <laughs> right, yeah, let's, live birth. let's forget about it. Um, and that is my answer. And Wait, it is a correct what percentage answer. did you say? A certain percentage. A certain percentage? Yes. That's, that's, cr- that's actually correct. It is correct. 60% of sharks give live birth. Yes. 40% lay eggs. Sure. Fun fact. Is that true? <laughs> Come on. Back to the no. problem at hand. <laughs> Back to the right. problem at hand. Make me a um, How okay. are you, you going to check this thing out? Or yeah. what? How do we fight? I mean, uh, you can just fight. I've got underwater. magic. There's just the extra threat of drowning. And I can't fight. Okay. Do you want to be invisible? I'm not going to impose any strict penalties on underwater combat, except for uh, Dual Wolf and all of his fire stuff. And, and probably my bow. Yeah, probably yeah. bow. I don't know. Projectile things like that can work okay. <laughs> no. Not, not a bow. Not Absolutely. underwater. <laughs> Crossbow, though. Maybe. Maybe. No. But not a bow. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because the string a, has to go like through excuse water. Excuse There's like a mechanism. This is a fantasy world where radical things happen in the real world. And they're all the time. Sure. And, and what's more radical than fighting goats. a giant shark with a crossbow underwater? Uh, That's pretty radical. Right, so I allow it. All right. Let's, right. Uh, let's, you want to go check this I'm out? I'm the deck I think, master. I, I think maybe you can be an extraction uh-huh. of some sorts. That sounds um, good. Yeah, let's Out of game. Yes. Should I bring my wolf with me? Does that seem like a lost cause? I mean, he's like he's like doggy paddling around. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him hang out. Okay, <laughs> keep, keep his breath. Just chill. I can't keep rolling that well, so <laughs> he's bound to drown. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be safe. Yeah. All right, let's uh go find out. Let's do this. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. All righty. You, well, you gotta let me know if that thing's coming at me. Okay. Of the point of magic, uh, it's moving about very, pretty quickly, like pretty deftly, but you manage to catch glimpse of several broad fins mm. in a fishy shaped body. Cool. About Only the size of like a car oh. to compare it to a non fantasy item. <laughs> On, nice. I can't see the glowing, right? Only she can. The glowing of the medallion? Yeah. Yes. Or the magic. Okay. I mean, it's, yeah. it's the medallion. <laughs> Spoiler alert, everyone. Dang. <laughs> the tiny circular thing of magic is the magic medallion. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, you're going to just, like, charge yeah, at it? Yeah, I know. I don't think we should. But, uh, <laughs> I, we can't unless, communicate, so. Unless we can distract it to a point where we can find the medallion on it. No. No, you want to just attack it? It's a big old fish. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, but I think before we we should stop, go back up, catch our breath, mm-hmm. get a good feel. Sounds good. Maybe All there's right. maybe there's a better game plan here. Well, maybe we lure it towards the surface. 
with a prestidigitation. Good. I don't know anything about that. And then uh, we what can could have a lot you, of breath. What could you prestidigitate? I could prestidigitate <laughs> something shiny. That's true. Uh, fishes, the fishes like worms. Uh, we could prestidigitate another a size person. A pretty like lady fish. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be kind of small, but yeah, we could try it. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to do a lady fish? That sounds good. Lady fish. Are you making a lady fish? Oh, we're making a lady fish. Is that a cantrip? Yes. How exactly does it work? Is there any guideline given for it here? <clears throat> or are we flying blind on a rocket cycle over here? Uh, if you cast a spell without touching one. an item, you can <laughs> instead create minor illusions no bigger than yourself. Uh, okay. They're crude but clearly illusions. They won't fool anyone, but they might entertain them. I mean, uh. they might fool a fish. They might fool a fish. It's true. Fish are pretty stupid. If this is a stupid fish, they maybe. eat lures all the time. Yeah, they do, right? <laughs> it's like people can just so, catch them. All right, so you press to digitate a, a ladyfish? Yeah, up towards the surface so that what, we can What does breathe. the ladyfish look like? Please describe the ladyfish in detail. She's got real smooth scales. Big lips. Oh, yeah. Real smooth. Yeah. Big lips. Big old. How big are we talking? Oh my gosh. Huge, <laughs> huge kissing lips right here. The best lips for fins. kissing. <laughs> She's oh real fertile too. Oh yeah, you can just smell the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> smell the eggs fish. going off. Right here. Because you know that's all Popping animals. right out. She's just swimming in a lazy infinity. Any room. dude fish sees that, he's gonna like be like, a... "Yo, I want to get up on that she's row." Like, yeah. Absolutely, that row. She's kind of, she's kind of sending row. the message. You know, Dad it's not the best row. ride, but there's no line. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist. She's just like, she's chilling out. She's like, she's like, I've been here before, but it's cool. I, I, I don't feel bad into it. Just chill out, you know. She's, she's like doing fluttering her, thing. her gills. She's yeah, it's an like, independent. Yeah, and that's, she doesn't oh, need okay. a man. And but that's attractive to this guy. She wants a man. Oh whoa! <laughs> I'm sold. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and if I'm sold, that means <laughs> that, that, that fish, fish is sold. That, that sold. means it happened. <laughs> this, this is happening. So into the light comes rushing a very aroused. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> giant bony fish. No, no, don't, don't read, fish, it, don't read huh? into that. I'm it's, reading into it. It's I already like a read into it. kind of thing, where it's got like bony okay. fins. You phrased of, it like, that way. Fins. Oh, yeah. like dangerous um, stuff. Yeah, um, and its head looks like almost entirely made of bone Ew. with like a, a helmet shaped jaw, like skull and this big beak like jaw. Oh. And, like tiny beady yellow you eyes. Guys, I fish. She doesn't want to get with that. <clears throat> the magical source is inside of the fish. What? That sucks. <laughs> I knew it, man. Question. Yes. Would the inside of the fish have air in it since technically they take the oxygen out of the water? I mean, I guess. <laughs> they have like oh, air bladders no. and stuff. Okay. But it's oh. not like it's a balloon. That's fine. It's not like that at your elementary dangerous. school That's when evil. they bring that the giant whale balloon loud. there and they fill yeah. it with the fan and you're allowed to walk around. And they're like, this is what it would be like if you walked around inside a whale. Did they do that for anybody else but no. me? No. No. It was really cool. You had a great childhood. It was like childhood. one of the best days of school. One of the cameramen knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> So yeah, there's probably air somewhere inside that fish. That's, okay. that's the point I'm make. So he rushes at that lady fish mm -hmm. and bursts through it. Yeah. And it vanishes. He killed it. He's furious. Yeah, because he killed it. I mean, it. as furious as a fish can be mm -hmm. with its tiny, stupid fish brain. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's probably just like no, I'm vaguely gonna perturbed. I don't know if they can get angry yeah, enough to be furious. Be. Well, so. I think he's kind of sexually frustrated. Yeah. Which he's is probably sexually kind of frustrated. Anger. He's stuck in this room for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I'm borrowing an arrow from him. You're borrowing an arrow. I'm from him. Borrow yeah. an arrow. Okay. He needs to defend himself. Uh, let's uh, let's roll up some initiative because <laughs> yeah. he sees all you now, and he's, and he's like, "What'd you do with my lady fish?" Our plan worked, guys. Oh no. What kind of plan did we have? <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo <coughs> type of plan. Yeah, it's all Scooby Doo. Plus Dex for initiative. Yes. Uh, Every one of your plans is a Scooby Doo yeah. type plan. Yeah, eight, eight, yeah. six. Duel, you got a six. Yeah, yeah, you got six. What about I you? Also got a six. Oh my God, who has the higher dexterity score? You got a fifteen. What do you got, Dula? Fula, Wula. What do you got? You got sixteen. Well, there we go. No, I go last. I got a nine. <laughs> okay. Aww. Okay. I lied. Aww. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's not okay to lie. So, I that means died. the fish is going first. Great, bring it on. Oh, who should the fish attack? I mean, he's a dumb fish, so I'm just going to randomly decide. 
You're one and two. You're three and four. You're five and six. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling. Great. Does anyone want to take bets? <laughs> I'm, I'm betting on four. The betting is open. Yeah, I'm betting on four. I'm betting I on bet five. It's three. Oh, Why is everybody, be betting everybody so thinks it's going to take you. Yeah, what did you say, Davis? I said five. Five. What do we got? Six. Oh. oh. You were close. You were the closest. Without You're going to get eaten by a fish. Nobody could have gone over. <laughs> I think that's what he right, so You might die. I have the arrow. I have the arrow. So the fish charges how, at you and snaps into you, or attempts to, yeah. with its giant beak-like jaw. He got a nine, mm -hmm. so you're free to attack him back yeah. with uh, whatever you have at hand. Like can I? I would like to instead, This is I'm going to make a different action. Uh -huh. um, I'm just going to, he's going to open his beak. To go, I'm just going to swim inside. <laughs> Is he that big? No, I'm no. swimming with straight inside. He's like car size, so yeah. I'm swimming straight Probably inside. Probably try and do that. Yeah. <laughs> make me, make me, I mean, you're taking damage one way or another. Yeah. But yeah. make me a defy danger dexterity roll. Okay. Go for it. This is amazing. Go for it. Yeah, I mean. If you succeed on this. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. You won. I got a nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a nine. <laughs> So it's going to make you take extra damage as your penalty for not getting a super high roll. Okay. Because if you, unless you get a 10, usually something bad happens. Oh my god! Oh what? no. You take 12 damage total. Wow. How that you doing? kills me. <gasps> you at zero? Yeah. That means you're not necessarily dead, though. Last oh, breath. Yeah. I mean, that's what you get for trying to swim into a giant monster fish's monster. mouth. Yeah. I'm not really, I don't really feel that bad about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All things considered. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you're a shark. You should know better. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's, um, that's two medallions at, that we no longer have. You are at death's door, uh -huh. um, which means that after this, um, we will address what happens to you. Okay. Because it can go a few different ways. Sure. Uh, you're at your last breath, which means that you are currently catching a glimpse of what lies beyond the black gates of death's kingdom. Awesome. <laughs> There's no fire anywhere, oh, and it's oh. nothing but teenagers. No! <laughs> we were a pretty bad person in life. So. <laughs> hell sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it wasn't my fault. Your yeah. own personal hell. Um, Todd, place. you're up. Duel's uh, getting eaten by a giant fish. Uh, you're gonna attack the fish. <laughs> you're gonna attack it. the fish. Doesn't seem like a nice guy. Um. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. You taking him with your uh, sword? Sword, okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. All righty. He, he gets to attack you back. He sure does. You hit. Great. You take four points of damage. That's not so bad. And don't forget to subtract your armor from yeah, it. I know. Since you do actually have some. I know. I need a pencil. Sorry. Uh, and then you can go ahead and tell me how much you're dealing to him. Nine damage. Nine damage. Nice. Yes, that's the maximum amount. Wow. Damage that I can do. Good job. Yeah. All right. So you jam your sword into his jaw and slice along his side. You cut through part of his skull. Yeah. The mighty blow, trying to free Dula, even though you don't really know why, because you never really liked him that much, yeah. but it's kind of the principle. But he's thing. got the other medallion. And he's got the other medallion, so now there's two glowing things of magic inside the fish. Very confusing. And if all three of those medallions end up in that fish, that goat's going to be mad. <laughs> it's going to be really mad. And you know it. Uh, Batania, you are up. Uh, I'm gonna cast Magic Missile and hit the fish with no. magic. I am no. gonna fail that. <laughs> so That's that unfortunate. didn't work. I know, it's really sad. Can I have my pencil back? Don't forget to mark your... Oh, I won't forget yeah. to mark. I never get experience. You never get to mark experience? How much damage did you do? Or did you? I, I beefed it. Oh, you beefed it. I'm sorry. I was trying to make sure Davis is not actually dead. Giant beefcake. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All right. chance I'm dead. Bummer. No, I think you'll be okay. Dula, on your turn. Oh, boy. You see death. Great. He looks like you'd expect, you know, like a robe and like a skull face and sure. like a scythe and stuff. Uh -huh. And he's like, hey, man, looks like you're getting eaten by a giant fish. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh oh. How's about you do with me a favor? Mm -hmm. How's about you roll me 2d6? Yeah. Oh, God. And then maybe I'll do something for you. Says Death. <laughs> how's about you roll that 2d6 now? Oh, okay. Boy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, Take geez. no time for lollygagging. You're about to die. Mm. <laughs> Got a six. Got a six? 
<laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Bro. Oh, no. Man, you know, like... I'm deaf and all. I have to say this to people a lot, but it's always really tough. Yeah. You never get used to it, really. No. Like. <laughs> no way. So, like, your fate's a little bit sealed. Yeah. It's, like, a little bit sealed. Yeah. <laughs> your fate. So, like, I gotta mark you as one of my own. Yeah. That means you're probably gonna end up here soon. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna tell you when. <laughs> At some point. You can come hang out with me for okay. the rest of eternity. Sounds How's good. How's about that? Sounds, sounds good great. To you? Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Oh, what? <laughs> the gates close, <laughs> and now you're just in blackness. Okay. You see nothing. You feel nothing. You hear nothing. Okay. We'll get back to you. <laughs> the fish. You want to get out of here? <laughs> Take a step <laughs> off. All right. Uh, whips no, no, around. No, no. Goodbye. <laughs> whips around, and attacks Batania. Oh, good. Mm. Man, I'm doing so well. He doesn't like the flashing lights. He hates the flashing lights. You know what? Yeah. They're the dead lights. Um, he misses. You managed to deftly swim out of the way. Um, feel free to take a whack at him Absolutely if you want. Absolutely, I do. Yeah. Forget about that. Uh, that's a ten. Ooh, that's great. That's ten. Great. Roll some damage. D4. It's just your staff, but. Yeah, four damage. Hey, no. maximum's nothing to sneeze at. No. You did a little bonk. <laughs> a little bonky bonk. bonk. Don't like that light, do you? Uh, that makes it Todd's turn. Let's go. Is he uh, pretty close by still, just flailing about? Yeah, he's, he's, good, he's with a good slash. Yeah, totally. Let's see. Maybe a hat. It's just a big party right now. Ah, seven, actually? Seven? Seven hits? Yes, he gets an attack it hits, now. but he gets an attack Great. on you as well. That's quite all right with me. Um, he also hit. Great. Rather than dealing damage, he's clamping his mouth down on your foot. Great. Ooh. So, really so he's great. he's getting a stab, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're stabbing him real good. Great. You jam your sword into one About of his two eyes. Two damage. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Kind of awesome. scratch his eye a little bit. Kind of scratch his eye out a little bit. He's probably going to need to get like some sort of surgery after this. But um, he's, he's, but he's not dead. He's going to pull me away. Uh, but Tanya, you I'm are up. To Todd is being, uh, is going, I mean, the thing after it bites him starts to drag you down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, Todd is being dragged down deeper. Yeah. I mean, kind of pulled along. And he's inside this fish right now. Yes. Is the fish, is like, choking on him? What's no, the deal? No, it's swallowing him oh, pretty swallowing good. Him. So he's inside. Yeah. He's pretty much all the way inside Great. now. The feet, you can't see the feet anymore. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to try to hit him real good. with like gold. Missile. Solid plan. Like gold. Yeah. It's a good plan. Get eaten by a giant fish. Seven. That's right. a seven. That's a yep. seven. Did For it. a magic missile? Yes, and I will take works. unwanted attention. All right. Always. I don't know. Four. Four. Five damage. Five damage? Pew, pew. Okay. Blast off one of his fins. He doesn't like Dang. it. Dula. Oh, I wish he would like. You come too. <gasps> you're inside a fish's stomach. You did it. I mean, you don't actually know that because it's pitch black, but you feel like you're inside what, a fish's what stomach. What you remember? What you would approximate a fish's stomach to feel like? Mm -hmm. So you know, mucusy, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to do? Uh, you're being digested. I've, you think? Okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, it's an odd feeling. Almost um, as odd as being dead. If he's inside, is, is he underwater still? Did um, we determine that it's okay in there? It's still very moist. It's still very moist. But you know what? Go ahead. Go, Go ahead. ahead. <laughs> 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 Give me a roll with a minus two penalty. Oh, boy. Because Please this is high. weird. <laughs> Please roll higher. I uh, fail. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in kind of a state of shock. Here. Yeah. I'm not doing so great. Hey, mark oh, XP boy. for failing your death roll. I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's gotta be like 10 XP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna level up to see. <laughs> so uh, the giant creature releases your foot oh. and goes after Batania. Good. Which, I mean, you kind of wanted that, I guess. It was that's my not plan really the whole time. Yeah. But from my perspective. Um, so he hit you, but you also get to make an attack on him. Awesome. Kill him and bonk. Yep, let's bonk him. Four points of damage. Uh, I bonked him for, is it dex or is it strength? Strength. Right. Oh, then I only bonked him for five. Five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. A little good bonk on the head. Yeah. <laughs> a bonk on the head. How much damage was that? Uh, he dealt you four. Awesome. Um, Todd, you're up. I mean, you're down. How far? Yeah. How far did he bring me? Pretty far, but you you can swim up and stab him. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I don't like this. F stands for fish. <laughs> uh, nine. Nine. That's not, good. Not nine damage. Yeah. Boom. Seven damage. Seven damage? You give him a good All righty. You jam your sword up right under where his skull meets the rest of his body, and he's got a nice squishy bit. Yeah, he does. And the blade shoots up and pierces out the other side, and the creature goes stiff 
and then it just starts yeah. twitching and sinking mm. down into the water. No, that's not good. Yeah. Duel is still inside, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? I mean, I guess now's any time. Are you see anything you want to do? Uh, is he still anything. alive? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like I mean, it. You can't You're getting really digested tell. real quick now. Yeah, you can't really tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't say anything because you're inside a fish, but <laughs> <laughs> this is like remember, party's always running. I will just say, don't forget why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm inside the fish, so <laughs> that's subtle enough. That's uh, good. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll take the arrow. If you let me borrow. This is my first plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we'll start cutting through the fish <laughs> on the inside. Yeah, oh. <laughs> don't do that. That's gonna take a long time. Just well, just not not all the way through. Just yeah. like so I can reach out of the stomach. That's all the way through. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. The stomach isn't. Oh, you mean like the organ itself? The organ itself. How are you gonna know when you just got out of the stomach? Well, because I'm being I'm like in a stomach, right? And I'm just like, ah, okay, it's the stomach, and I just like cut through, and I'm just like hand out of the stomach. I all right, buy... rest of rest of <laughs> See, body. I don't buy that you're in a state where you can discern the difference between the stomach and the rest of what's in there. <laughs> you see what it looks like when all you right, cut it. I'm just gonna try and start a whole again. bunch of stuff in there. I'm just gonna start a fire. Fire. I'm just gonna start a fire again. Just gonna try and start a fire. That's a better plan, plan, probably. Burn from the inside out. <laughs> but don't forget why you're there. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Two medallions. I got a seven. You did it. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Right. <laughs> the flames explode out of your hand. Yeah. And you have your fire blade sword. Yeah. It's a sword, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a sword. You can cut your way out with that. Yeah. That's, that's more reasonable. I'm a, yeah. I'll cut my way out of it's that. It's like, ah! Yeah. As soon as you break through, there's a loud hissing and sputtering of steam, and yeah. your sword kind of explodes apart. Yeah. But you cut a hole big enough that you can kind of crawl out of it. Yeah. It's like that scene in Ace Ventura where yeah. he crawls out of the rock. Oh, okay, right? yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a similar situation. Yeah. I want, I want to grope around in there. Yeah, just kind of reach around. <laughs> reach around in there for a medallion. Just be like... Shouldn't have said reach around. <laughs> shouldn't have said reach around. <laughs> 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 we'll reach around in there. You shouldn't, yeah. have, you shouldn't have brought it up. I shouldn't have said <laughs> brought it up. They can bleep it with a goat sound if they want well, to. I want to... I hope it happens. I hope I'm going to reach inside the fish. Yes. Feeling for, around. Feeling around for a medallion. Feeling around for a medallion. All right. Do I have to roll something? No, you find it. Okay, good. You get it. Yeah. And you swim back up to the surface. Put it on. <laughs> two medallions. He's wearing two medallions. <laughs> it doesn't have a string, actually. I put it on my current chain. Two medallions right next to each other. How did you attach that first medallion right? So there was a chain that was on the... No, I know, but now that I'm thinking about it, the medallion doesn't have, like, a loop in it or anything. It doesn't have a loop in it? <laughs> it's just a medallion. Uh, the medallion was around the... I can the... make it. I can the melt dinosaur the... guy's neck, right? Mm -hmm. His box with his baseball card was around his neck. That's right. Yeah. The medallion was just inside his wrappings. Yeah. I used I don't know, the you, chain. You, you allowed him to do it. I, know. I, was, using, I was using the chain from it. Uh, if you want, I can, I can like, craft ah, things. sure. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you attach it to the chain. <laughs> oh, boy. I was just thinking, I just thought... It's a minor weird. detail. Yeah. Yeah. How did that work? It hasn't made sense at all the whole time. Do a medallion. What are you doing here? Neither right. does a Legosaurus. Let's get out of Neither here. Neither does the like Legosaurus. Place. You might yeah. see him again sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's skedaddle. Go. I need to go to sleep. You skedaddle. Make me another constitution roll to get out. Oh, my God. If this is how you die. It's long swimming. Oh, you were at one hit point, by the way. Okay. Because you, you you were at death's door. Seven? I got an eight. But I want to make, I want that to be uh, EP's roll. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. And then I'll roll one. I rolled a 12. You're good. What is up with your rolls? Holding your breath on the phone. No, I'm not getting any experience. Do you want me to count this one or reroll? Go ahead and count it. Ten. Ten? You're good. <laughs> I looked over and saw that it yeah. was a four. So <laughs> also, I'm not fudging my rolls to get a four. Yeah. Um, so you reach the surface of the swamp, swim back over to land, and are greeted by the goat. Hello, goat. Was your journey successful? And I gesture to my dual medallion. Excellent. Please take those away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I told you this before, but I don't trust him. Right. He's kind of a jerk. Whoa. No. <laughs> I'm kind of serious. They're like bad, bad news. I feel like it'd be a good I'm idea to news, split so up. Birds of a feather flock together. I just mean like for you, they're bad news. It's the goat better. starts like kind of waddle stomping because like, he can't really move his body well because he's all puffed out because yeah. he's an old goat. Yeah. And just like going, bah, bah, and he seems very agitated yeah. with you. It's like, 
He's chewing at your pants. No. I, mean, I don't know if you like being blind. I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about that near-death experience? This is good stuff. <laughs> death will come to you someday. Yeah, death will come to me someday. Oh, man. It's already going to happen. Are you going to tell them about your brush with death, or are you keeping that a secret? I'm going to keep it kind of a secret. Okay. If they ask, I'll tell them. But, okay. Wait. But they have to ask. I mean, yeah, they don't know you were like that. Yeah, exactly. You're keeping an important secret from me? <laughs> you don't know that, that you though. Know you don't know it yet. I don't. You don't know what happened. Is that one of your bonds? Yes. The wheels are in motion. The wheels are in motion. We might get something out of this. (laughs) Fantastic. So, now I believe we should search for the third and final medallion. However, I have concerns about the goblin presence in this valley. Yeah. I mean, you don't get to say that after being mad at this guy. (laughs) For killing two goblins. Hey, just because I have concerns about it doesn't mean I want to murder them all in cold blood. Sacrifice. <laughs> I don't actually know what the goblin is the goat is saying. Yeah. So do no. it. So you just silent. say you just say sacrifice out of, out of the blue. <laughs> sacrifice. Like, <laughs> I'd like to think that that's kind of a normal occurrence with this character. <laughs> yeah. So it's not too out of sorts for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> um, good point. Oh man. <laughs> But uh, what would you like? What do you propose, Goat? I propose we get those damn medallions from that guy. I really don't like it. We'll see what happens. That doesn't seem to be causing any trouble so far. He's helping us get the medallions. That's pretty cool. Excellent. Everybody who can't understand the goat still doesn't get a bleat. They actually get up. Mm. <laughs> like, what did you do? It's like, yo, that goat sounds mad. I'm just going to look at you and I'm just going to be like, goat doesn't really want him to have the medallions. Oh, I don't want him to have the medallions either. Yeah, I don't care, though. I feel like we should split we should. You guys are like whisper shouting. You know that, right? I can like hear what you're, you're, you're just loudly whispering. All right. Like, maybe we should Quimeta split gaming, up. gaming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should split up the medallions so we each have one. So they're not all tied to one person. Three heroes with three medallions. That is what is needed to save this world. He says three heroes, three medallions. Also, if you have more than one medallion, you'll go blind. <laughs> Sounds like a dope deal to me. Sure, just yeah. tell him whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't back out now. <laughs> I already said the blind thing. <laughs> um, yeah, we can each... Have a medallion? Yeah, I mean, you get to be the shark. Let somebody else be a sloth. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, Megatherium. You don't look like you're in really good shape. And I have no quarrels with putting you down right now. <laughs> <laughs> no quarrels at all. Yeah, unless you have some sort of So four, four, four sessions is how long it took for one of the party members to flat out threaten to murder another one. <laughs> well, well, I have no respect for him. If anybody had a betting pool going, <laughs> four. <laughs> no, no problems. It would be real easy uh, to do. Right now, yeah. Totally. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a mess. Yeah. And it makes sense. Use your brain. Yeah. I gave you an arrow. Awesome. I, I gave you an arrow. I don't know what that helps. It's totally worth the medallion. By a fish. <laughs> you dove into the fish's and mouth. And I almost died. Give me the sloth medallion. I'm going to give it to Batania. Fine, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> the final medallion is that of the destroyer, the Moa bird, also known as the terror bird. Or, oh God, it's coming this way. <laughs> Why would God make a bird so huge and deadly? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part is only my character understands any of this. <laughs> Seriously, look it up in a book. You're going to say like, whoa, these things actually existed when people did? Holy crap. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever heard. All right, how about... uh, we, Where do we go? Making camp in the yeah. swamp is probably not a great well, idea. Let's leave the swamp yeah. and then yeah. make camp. Which way are you leaving the swamp? Which direction do you want to go in? Which way does the goat say yeah, to well, go? Yeah, goat's our friend. Goat knows el- goat knows everything. From, I can from sense. Er- and knows everything from over a thousand years ago. I can everything sense. Everything within the last thousand years. He doesn't really get it. I can sense the third medallion to the northwest. Let's head in that direction until we come to a place where we can Which make Which direction? Camp. 
northwest. Towards the volcano. Towards the volcano. Yeah. All and right. the, the strange metal the building. The stronghold. Mm. I'm just guessing. And then head off. And it looked pretty strong. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Um, how about... Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go there. All right. Yeah, but let's stop halfway there. Yeah. Take a little Sorry. break. I think you might sleep. need some sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, pick me some people. Are you just me a quartermaster again yeah. to guarantee it? Yeah. All right. Pick me scout and a trailblazer. Trailblazer. Trailblazing. I'll be scouting. <clears throat> wow, I failed. <laughs> oh, Great. My gosh. Takes you guys a really long time to get there. It's like daybreak by the time you get there. How's Goat doing? Goat's doing okay. How's EP doing? EP's doing good. Great. You want to talk to him? You want to have a yeah. chat? Yeah. Well, what do you want to talk to him about? What are you thinking about, EP? I was just thinking about how beautiful the stars look tonight. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> they do look beautiful. Oh my god. I like the shapes that they make. Ah, uh, yes. The constellations. Sure. <laughs> there is Cassiopeia. And but next to it, Orion. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's correct. I don't really know my star charts well, but it sounds good. <laughs> you, are, you are a wolf. <laughs> hey, man, back off. Yeah. <laughs> Getting kind of a touchy subject there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I'm still not really sure what we're doing in this valley. <laughs> <laughs> you just come along for the ride. You know we're having fun. I suppose so. The giant fish scared me. <laughs> scared Thank you for not telling me to fight. <laughs> scared me too, EP. Figured you'd rather not deal with it. Also, that lizard guy totally needs to come off it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> He's being a jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, oh, All right, believe I me. One I'm I, gotta, I gotta talk to him. I, we so. gotta, I kill one goblin and suddenly I'm a jerk. Yeah, suddenly. Suddenly you're joy for murdering an innocent goblin. It's like he's evil or something. He hadn't done anything bad yet. You don't know if, you don't know if that I goblin did stick one of them, it. too. I felt that. I mean, yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't kill him, though. I was just kind of... No, you just left him to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, ha he, had, he had a friend. I mean, his health insurance might cover it. You don't know. Oh, that's right. You didn't kill him, It's like you? a union thing. No, Was he, he didn't. I mean, we left. He left. He was still there? Yeah. He was just sitting there. Dead. Well, I think that's going to come don't back know. to he had an arrow in him. bite us later. An arrow in his remember. chest. I don't think he died. Good. Okay, well, that's good. I'm pretty sure he didn't die. Good. <laughs> At least not that you know of. Yeah. Yeah. He might have spoke to death for a minute, but death was like, mm. oh, that's cool, bro. So I'll see you later. Northwest, um, you have to ford across a small river. Um, your wagon does not tip, nor do you lose any oxen. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> no dysentery? Anyone? That's yeah, yeah dysentery. I know. It's the joke. <laughs> you know the joke? Yes. Has anyone played Oregon Trail? Yes, we played Oregon Trail. I feel like I'm played Oregon, Oregon Trail. No, Oregon you... Trail. I'm 100 years old. I've Whoa. played Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that our dank master is kind of a hipster? He's a little pretentious, but let's let him Oregon tell Trail. the story. Yeah. Telling me I played Oregon Trail before it was cool. <laughs> so you call it Oregon Trail. Actually. Is Oregon Trail cool? Was it ever cool? Yeah. Yeah. It's totally cool. You put all your friends' names into it and see who dies. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> your friends probably weren't cool either. <laughs> <laughs> His friends weren't cool. Yeah. Um, My friends weren't either. You cross the Sorry, river guys. and you are on the border <laughs> of this kind of like mangrove swampy area with trees and what becomes the ashen wastelands around the volcano. Go to places any set up camp. It's camp. So camp. Okay, knock off a ration for each of you. I found out I do have rations. You do? Oh, okay, nice. cool. I figured everyone would. But you owe me two rations. I sure do. Yeah. Well, or knock off a ration, heal half your maximum hit points. What are you doing, man? I'm going to cast alarm so that we can sleep. All right. I'm going to try to cast alarm. I got a seven. So I'm going to choose to forget that after this. Give me two rations. <laughs> because you're resting anyway. I'll give yes. you one ration. Works perfectly. Two. I'll give you one. Use my one last time, too. Last time we can. Fine. <laughs> now I have two left. Ah. All right. A lovely night. Hey, guys. I'm not 100% dead anymore. Yay! So, from where you are, um, after sleep sleeping the night here, you can see um, this large metal structure in the middle of the wastes. Um, it looks very highly advanced, presumably goblin in make. There are several small figures walking around it, you can see from a distance, um, as well as a couple larger ones. 
look bigger than the other goblins you've seen. Mm. Um, <laughs> the goat is staring at the lab. I have dire news, friend. I believe that the final medallion rests in the hands of the goblins. You must brave their stronghold. No doubt it is full of tricky traps that will trick and trap you. And also probably monsters. I don't know. That's how this has all gone so far, so I'm just kind of extrapolating from there. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, but maybe not. Discern realities? <laughs> sure. <coughs> You can you can say it to me and then just keep smiling at me. Or you, yeah, can, roll, or you can roll. Or you can roll some dice. Oh, if you really want to. Seems like you really wanted to do something. Roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a seven, nine. Uh -huh. You need to ask me one question. Yeah. Um, oh my god. There's lots of goblins scurrying around. Right? There are lots yeah. of goblins scurrying goblins around. Scurrying. Yeah. yeah. Scurrying gobs. Gobs. Scurrying gobs. Scurrying gobs. Yeah. My call them scurry gobs. Besides goat Who's size. The goat? Besides the goat. I know that that's always the stipulation. <laughs> Who is there. really in charge here? Do you mean here as in the goblin facility? Yes. Okay. That was an easy answer for this. <laughs> the leader of the goblin? <laughs> <laughs> Presumably. Oh. <laughs> Discern realities and the <clears throat> But then really. again, perhaps the goat is the Phantom Menace. Maybe the goat <laughs> is the Phantom Menace. <laughs> Maybe the goat is Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> 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 this is, truly is a dank dungeon. <laughs> I've already used that line. I used that in like the first session. I know, I'm using it again. <laughs> Oh, we're not even, like we're not even in a dungeon. <laughs> You're not even in a dungeon right now. There have been right, a couple dank right. dungeons, though. <laughs> so, nice so, like, try. how many goblins are scurrying? Hundreds? Many. Many. Tens. Tens. Oh. Say, not Tens of thousands. Ten <laughs> Tens of thousands of Whatever, goblins. Whatever, man. You're just... Tens of thousands of, like, one goblin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is still tens of thousands. Um, there are much fewer of the uh, larger ones. Okay. The larger ones seems like there's only, like, there's, there's less than ten of the big ones. Okay. And they're surrounded by m many smaller ones as well. I walk up to the goblin. <laughs> That's a long walk. Oh, yeah, they're really pretty far away. away. They're pretty far away. You guys are looking mm -hmm. at them from like above the wasteland, okay. kind of just scoping things out right. from your campsite. We should maybe just be sneakier about it. It looks like it'll be hard to sneak. Yeah. Because the wasteland's all it's flat, all flat and open, ash. right? Yeah, mm. and like volcanic rock. Mm. You should turn into a sloth. Or we should all turn invisible. Ooh. Can you do that? I can turn one person. Can I can one turn person. one person invisible, uh -huh. and then we can go. And then or you can turn another one invisible. We can go. Maybe I think I have to be touching you. Let's read <laughs> what the stipulations are. Touch an ally. <laughs> Nobody can see them. They're invisible. Um, it doesn't say I have to keep touching you. So it's just touch invisible go. Yeah. Cool. For how long? Um, until the target attacks, or I dismiss the effect. Really? And while the spell yeah. is ongoing, I can't cast another spell. Uh, okay. There's this, there there's this, there's this. So, yeah. we can get, <clears throat> we can get inside if we're cool, but we could all be invisible for a little bit and not do anything else. <laughs> can you promise not to attack anybody? Yes. But only one of us can be invisible at a time. I can, I can think I can turn down. multiple people. You can't cast the spell. You can't cast the spell again. Mm -hmm. Only one of us can be invisible. Yep, it's limited. Oh, no. We could try to cast a ritual and make all of us invisible. You could try and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any objects on you that might pertain to turning the entire party invisible? You, know, you have that book of invisibility. Get creative. That book of invisibility. <laughs> uh, oh, the big book of dumb plays. <laughs> Let's see. Burn, oh, the big right. book of Scooby-Doo. Well, big book I, of Scooby-Doo plans. We I can use this for anything. In my oh bag my can gosh. It's called Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the greatest tool of all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It seems pretty useful for stuff. If you need to collect a MacGuffin, just use Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it gracious. possible that we could find something that pert no. That Smart. pertains to invisibility? I mean, other conditions are it could take a long time. First, we have to do something else. I need help from another person. All sorts of other things. 
Uh, the best you can do is a lesser version, unreliable and limited. We'll risk danger from something else. We have to disenchant something else. Whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. Mm, whole bunch of stuff. Number of things you could do. Number of things. I mean, you, the, you could just have it take a while. Yeah, just do that. Cause but you, be risk, you risk mm. notice. It's true. It is morning night by now if you guys rested. Because you were doing all that adventuring at night. Yeah. How, yeah. how long would it take to cast? Depends on how good your roll is. Uh. <laughs> do we make it take longer? I'm taking a risk. Uh, that's 10. That's a pretty good roll. It's 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would but you I have your intelligence you... bonus to that? I assume so because whenever I cast a spell, there's yeah. an intelligence bonus. I would say you do. So that's a ten. That's a ten. Yeah. A ten is good. A ten's real good. Okay. So it takes you two hours, but oh. you manage to do it unnoticed. Awesome. <laughs> so we're all invisible because you're Everybody's all good Everybody's invisible. Everyone's invisible, Inc even EP and the goat. Awesome. <laughs> yes. So now that you're all invisible, let's go. What's the plan? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. Do Let's go. Let's yep. go. <laughs> yep. All right. You begin your journey down towards the goblin stronghold, not knowing what awaits you inside. You are also invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so we are running out of time, unfortunately, for this session. So the exciting adventures inside the goblin stronghold or outside the goblin stronghold and hopefully inside after that uh, will have to take place next episode. But uh, you, fair viewer, have been watching Dank Dungeons on either NCTV or YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, this was episode four. Uh, look forward to episode five, in which there will be goblins and invisibility. And I will see you there. Or will I?